Hi everyone and welcome to Lancome's YouTube series, Happiest Together, where we create looks for occasions and events that we're really excited to go to. My name is Sarah and I'm the director of content for Lancome. My team works on all of the content you see on our social channels, our product pages, and in media. And this is my work life. Hi guys, so I'm Yuritza Carabello and I'm the Director of Brand Engagement and I oversee all things talent and our social strategy. Stay tuned to learn how to create a day to night look that you can wear to the office and then out with your work wife or just, you know, fun drinks with your coworkers. This is our final look, but there is one in between, so make sure you watch the whole thing. So we are going to start off with moisturizer. I love this moisturizer because that moisture lasts all day. You look so dewy. So do you. The glowing. The glowing dream. I love it. Uh, Yoritza and I met, when did we meet? When I randomly called you <laughs> <Yeah>. on team. <laughs> she joined a meeting before she started on the brand and I was like, girl, just like wait till you start. I got it. Yeah, it was very <laughs> aggressive. We were in a meeting together and she was doing something. I was like, wait, this is what I'm gonna be doing. Let me call her and ask her, should I start? She was like, relax, <laughs> don't worry. We both started in the spring. We were both really eager to start doing things for long haul. Mm -hmm. I think we both have so many ideas and, and we wanna create more impactful content and mm -hmm. work with more influencers. So we were both so eager. I'm gonna start with primer. This is the Blur & Go Priming Stick. You can use this to minimize the appearance of your pores and it'll be no makeup makeup, but like you have a little filter on your face. I'm going to focus the product where my pores are the largest, which is my T-zone. So my cheeks, my nose, and then my forehead. And you can see it instantly blurs my pores and it mattifies my skin. So I'm going to start with La Base Pro. I like it because it's oil free and I have really oily skin. So when I use this under my foundation, I feel like it just sets it, it stays for longer. So this is the Tinty Dole Ultra Wear All Over Concealer and I'm going to use it as a foundation. And I'm using this to kind of cover up any imperfections. You're probably wondering why I'm using a lighter shade than Sarah, as I'm clearly darker, <laughs> but it's because I'm really using it to cover the imperfections, whereas she's using it more of like a foundation. So what was it like for you starting a new job in the pandemic? I virtually met every single person that I'm working with, so I didn't have a chance to meet anyone in person until like maybe three weeks ago. This is where I have the most darkness, so I'm going to add some right here. And then to lift my face, I'm going to apply line right here. And this is the most affordable way to get a facelift. A tip for me that I learned from watching way too many beauty YouTube tutorials is that I actually let my concealer sit for a little bit so that it's not completely wet when I blend it in and that way you get the most coverage out of your concealer. Right when we both started at Lancome, we pitched this idea to do a wedding content series which if you're on our YouTube channel is probably live there, so you should check it out. Um, and Yaritza and I flew to LA together. And then we went on like this super long walk and like we basically told each other our entire lives. Yeah, pretty yeah. much. You know, our priority is to create more emotional content with real people and real stories. And it's just, it goes way beyond just makeup and skincare. So I'm going to use a darker shade of the all over concealer. So this is the shade 420. I just used a bit here to define my cheekbones and then to make your forehead smaller from the side, apply some here and then at the top of the forehead. And then I'm also going to put it on my jawline, which is the tip to hide the double chin. I'm learning all the tricks today, Sarah. <laughs> So this is the Lancome Tinty Doll Ultra Wear Foundation Stick and I'm gonna use this to kind of bronze around my skin. So this product actually comes with a kabuki brush under it, which is great for like on the go application. I prefer to use my fingers. I just feel the most comfortable applying my concealer, my foundation, everything. It's just easier for me. And my pores like look instantly flawless. 
This is what one side of my face looks like, contoured with the concealer. And you can see it gave me a lot of warmth and dimension. And then now that my nose contour, the highlight shade has been sitting there for a minute, I'm going to just blend it in with my finger. To finish my nose contour, I'm going to take the darker concealer shade and carefully outline where I just put the lighter shade. And I'm also gonna make the tip of my nose smaller by adding it. And this is how you make your nose look smaller. So to bring back the intensity of my nose contour, I'm gonna go in again with the lighter shade. Blend it in. And there you have a contoured nose. Okay, so I'm gonna start on my brows. And today I'm gonna be using this Brow Define Pencil. So before I do anything else, I'm going to set my concealer to make sure it doesn't move. So I'm going to use the Long Time No Shine Loose Powder. So I'm just gonna press it into the concealer, not drag it, because we don't want to move any of it. And you can see, immediately matte. We're gonna create like a very buildable, like day to night look because we're actually going out for a little coffee night hour. After this. So it's gonna be like something that we can continue to wear in the office for the day, but also something that'll look super like, you know, glam and fun for tonight. So I do this to make my eyes stand out a little bit more. So you're gonna follow like the crease to open it. Yeah, I'm just gonna put this in my crease. But I'm gonna go ahead and use it to create like a subtle um, smoky eye. All over. It's just like a really pretty shimmer. And the other eye. I know most people finish one eye and then do the other one, but I just, I like to keep things even. I'll do one step on one eye, then on the other, then go back and I don't know. Is that weird? their own makeup process and strange thing that they do. More strange things I do. <laughs> you probably do. <laughs> I'm gonna do a little baby wing with the Drama Liquid Pencil. So because I have hooded eyes, I'm not going to make the wing very big or very long. I'm gonna start here on my outer corner. Out. And I'm trying to make the end of my liner kind of lift up towards the tail end of my brow. So make sure you go very lightly with the pencil. So okay. are we ready for mascara? <laughs> the best part. We're both gonna go and use the, the primer, right? Because I feel like it's the best thing ever. This is the best thing ever. This is a game changer. This is my favorite. I think this is one of my favorite Lancome products. Is it? Yeah. Tell me why you like it, Sarah. I like it because it's a really buildable mascara. The packaging is so chic, and Zendaya looks so fierce in she this really ad. She really does, yeah. Like, I want to look like Zendaya. <laughs> <laughs> I want to look like Zendaya, too. So, Sarah, you know, one of my favorite things about her that I feel like has helped me so much just starting a new role and doing it all during the pandemic or the tail end of it, hopefully, has been just, you're really good with self-care and, you know, finding time for like yourself and things to kind of like fill your cup back up. So do you want to share some of your tricks and tips that you've sure. taught me since I've started? I think your mental health is really important and I don't think you can really succeed in your job and in building relationships with people if you're not you know calm well i have a few tips to keep calm mm -hmm. i meditate every single morning and that really forces me to separate the stress i have from myself mm -hmm. and then i also find exercise a really healthy way to relieve stress so i do all of those things cardio is a really big one for me i got a peloton like in the middle of the pandemic and i feel like it, it was such i know it sounds like not a big deal, but I think like moving your body is so important. 
I think having a friend at work also helps because then you have someone who relates to you and understands what you're going through. Mm -hmm. So I find that really, really, really very helpful. And I think it's also like we live in New York and we work in corporate America. So all of those things are stress factors in themselves. So really taking the time to fill your cup back before, you know, diving into the city, diving into the office is so essential. Um, and yeah, those are such great tips. I now meditate every morning. And if I don't meditate, I'll listen to like, I don't know, a pastor or like something that's like positive. And then also in between like meetings, I do like take little like breathing breaks oh, and like, yeah. Or I'll randomly call home. you. It's nice to take a yeah. walk sometimes and like breathe yes. fresh air. Or a 15 minute Peloton yeah. or just something to just disconnect for even 15 minutes. Yeah. This is the dual finish highlighter and sparkling pesh. So now we're going to go in with the Drama Ink. We're both going to use this as blush and lip. And it's really great to use it that way too because I feel like it brings your whole look together. It looks cohesive. You really only need like one or two swipes. Okay, so I'm gonna move on to my lips and I'm going to line them first with the Le Lip Liner in Bronzel. So I'm gonna be using the same liner in the color Rose Tea. I love overlining my lips too. I feel like it gives it like a like a pouty, like doll-like lip. So I'm just gonna use this to blend it in so that it's not a sharp line around my lips. I'm now going in with the same lipstick that I used on my cheeks and I'm going to put it on my lips. I feel like I don't wear lipstick every day, but... Ooh. Girl. Shimmer. Thanks, girl. <laughs> I don't wear lipstick every day, but if I had a, an important meeting, I would definitely wear a lip. I feel like it just shows that you put effort in and you care about the way you look. Power lip. Yeah. I true, like, that's so true, because I really believe in like a power lip. But today is not a power lip day. Today is a regular presentation, but maybe we don't need a power lip. Maybe we'll do a power lip in the end. This is like everyone's finally back to the office and you want to let them know that you're beautiful. Yes. So we're gonna amp it up now. Let's right? amp gonna... it up. I'm gonna <laughs> use the Bronze Absolute palette. So I'm gonna be using the same palette I used earlier, the Rose Fusion palette. Now I'm gonna go in and kind of build on that and I'm gonna use this um, burgundy-ish color and this dark brown to just like add a little depth, make it a little bit more sultry. So to further intensify the eye, I'm going to add the black Drama Liquid pencil to my upper and bottom waterline. I'm gonna tight line. This is the blackest, most pigmented black liner I think I've ever tried. So to further amp up my eye look, I'm going to use the Monster Big Mascara, which gives your lashes incredible volume. All right, so I'm just gonna clean up the eyeshadow and really kind of like lift my eye and create kind of like a, a wing eye. So I'm going to finish my night look with a juicy lip with the iconic Juicy Tube lip gloss. This is the original shade, it's clear. I feel like everyone should own this. Comment down below if the Juicy Tube was your first Lancome product. I think it was mine. While Sarah is doing that, I'm gonna go ahead and just use the darker shade in this palette and I'm just gonna line my bottom lash line. I'm gonna use this too and I'm just gonna put it on my lower lash line too. And I'm going to set my look with a Fix It and Forget It setting spray. And it has the most beautiful mist. Ooh, I guess I'm getting some too. <laughs> <laughs> My last step is just applying this Juicy Tube. So this is the color Spring Fling. It's such a nostalgic product. It's been around forever. And I think when you're in high school, it's kind of an expensive price point to, to like buy makeup for like a 16 year old. So it's definitely like a prized possession that you probably had to like 
beg your mom or your dad to like let you purchase. That was it for me. I think not only is it like really a good product that's so simple that everybody can use, but I also really like like the scent brings back those memories. Like I feel like it brings me back to high school. And no look is complete without a scent. Adult Aura has notes of salted vanilla, jasmine, bergamot, and centifolia roses. Okay, so I'm gonna be wearing the Edol Classic, and the notes are white musk, bergamot, rose. It's just like a really sexy, like, soulful smell. Looking good, smelling good, <laughs> feeling good. Okay, we're ready. This is our final look. I hope you guys love it. We really love it. We had so much fun filming this. Yeah, and tell us which look you would wear to work or a night out and tag your work wife. Tag your work wife. And stay tuned for more Happiest Together content from Long Kong. <laughs>